So emergency contraception has gotten a lot of press lately because many people are concerned about the safety and use in adolescents. The wonderful thing about emergency contraception is that it actually can protect a young woman or teenager from getting pregnant in case a condom breaks, for instance, or they don't use any birth control at all. On average, if you take all couples having sex and they have one episode of sex during a cycle, there's about an 8% chance that they can get pregnant. Using Plan B, which is the progesterone-only method, that risk goes down to 1%. So it dramatically decreases the chance that a teen can get pregnant. The safety profile for Plan B is exceptional, which is why the FDA has approved it for over-the-counter usage. There really are no contraindications meaning no reasons why a teenager shouldn't use it except for if she's already pregnant. Now, some people worry, okay, is it, a, is it something that causes an abortion? Is this a pill that causes an abortion? It does not. It is basically the same hormone that is being cranked out by a pregnancy. So if a teenager is already pregnant, it just adds more fuel to the fire, honestly. It's not going to cause that, that teenager to miscarry or to have an abortion. So it's not at all effective. Uh, and teens should know that, that if you take it, it is not gonna cause you to have an abortion. Some people think, okay, is this something that we should be allowing our teenagers to use? Because maybe they should be using better birth control. And we absolutely agree. This is not a great form of, of birth control for teens to use repetitively. And we encourage all teenagers who think they need to use Plan B to also think, maybe I need to go see my doctor about getting a better method. So that will be something that's important for all teenagers to think about if they're sexually active. Ideally, it should be taken right away or as soon as the teenager can get to the pharmacy and get the prescription filled um, or get it over the counter. If, um, if, say, a day or two goes by, we still consider it very effective up to 72 hours after the episode of unprotected intercourse. When you get beyond 72 hours, the benefit of it really starts to dramatically decrease, and at five days, it's not considered effective um, birth control anymore. In Washington State, um, you know, it is over-the-counter medication, but if you're a teenager, a young teenager, you have to have a doctor's prescription to go and pick it up. But all pharmacists should dispense it uh, to an adolescent with a doctor's prescription. There are some costs associated with it. It is significantly cheaper than being pregnant and significantly cheaper than a termination of pregnancy or an abortion. And when we look at, you know, the barriers for teens, the most common barrier is that they don't even know that it exists or that it's an option for them or their parents don't know that it exists. So it's a, a one thing that many teens need some education about.